So we saw a little rain today, Mike, and you said it's cleared out, but is there anything else on the horizon we should be uh, worried about? How about some uh, snow, maybe? That's something I would worry about, yes. Now it's just a maybe right now, Clay, and I think it's mostly going to be interior, but uh, we should start off talking about some snow anyways because I had these pictures sent in to me. Check out this picture of Katahdin. Just take a look at the nice snow cap. This was actually taken last week. Rick sent these in uh, tonight. He sent a collection of them in, so maybe we'll sprinkle a couple more in tomorrow evening too. Update on the drought monitor. Some good news is that we remained unchanged through a lot of central and northern Maine. And that's where we're in the lowest category on the drought. But at the coastline, we've still got a severe drought along the entire coastal plain with that extreme drought still appearing in York County and southern New Hampshire. So we need to improve there. We've uh, been watching the rainfall deficits through the year. I mean, so far this year, Portland is almost at a nine inch deficit. Bangor over seven and a half inches uh, deficit there. Augusta and Caribou are at least a little closer to normal, but still anywhere from four and a half to five inches below what we would normally see by this date each year. So it's been dry, needless to say. High temperatures reached today. Most of these happened just after midnight. 68 in Sanford, Lewiston and Freiburg, 65 in Bangor, 66 in Millinocket, 65 in Portland. Some of these are records, but uh, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about the records because I want to talk about what's coming up next. Overnight tonight, uh, here you can see very clearly where the radar is showing the showers now offshore. Current temperatures starting to fall down into the 30s where the cloud cover has broken. That's going to be the case if we animate the radar. The showers just keep moving east and away from us. So we keep things dry tonight. We will clear out the clouds, which means those ingredients will allow us to really drop those temperatures back. We did have some heavier rain get mixed in down east, so that's actually going to be pretty good from Machias to Eastport. Roughly is where the heaviest rain tracked earlier for the drought monitor that we were talking about just a couple seconds ago, but I still don't think we have a big soaking rain in the forecast anytime soon. Hour by hour overnight shows clouds starting to move back in by tomorrow morning. I think we'll see some drizzle along the coastline shortly after noon tomorrow, but the majority of the showers actually hold off until the evening hours. And then we've got this mix of snow through the mountains uh, and northern Maine. Maybe we pick up an inch or two in some spots. It doesn't look to be a blockbuster event at all. We clear back out for Saturday, though. Saturday actually looks OK. So here it is, that cooler air settling on in. And then maybe Saturday, Sunday, we keep things a little quieter before we bring some showers back for the middle of next week. Seas tomorrow, 3 to 4 feet northeast wind, 10 to 15 knots with some gusts of 20 knots, 47 on Sunday. And there's that snow that I was talking about. Uh, potential for some snow inland in northern Maine, maybe 2 to 3 inches Sunday night. And then we start to warm things back up for Monday. Maybe a flurry on Tuesday as colder air gets ready to settle in. Looking at temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s by Wednesday, Clay. So, you know, compared to this past Wednesday, that's going to be about a 40 degree difference in wow. some spots. It's going to be chilly out there compared to where we've been. Yeah, especially uh, compared to last year when it was already cold at this time. So I guess we were a little spoiled this last week. Yeah, we have been, but you know, it's November. We expect the cold at some point. Yes, we do. All right, Mike, thank you.